guys and happy Thanksgiving and today I'm going to be doing part two of this Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to learn how to make this cranberry sauce. I'm going to be showing you how to make the cranberry sauce in this video. Super squishy. Love it. Um, so what you're going to need is red or pink or whatever color you really want. For, I recommend using like fuchsia or burgundy or whatever color you want. That's like red or pink. For the actual cranberry sauce part, I just did, I just alternated between rainbow and brand, red and pink here, and then I just stuffed it with some random bands. But I'm just going to be using red or jelly red, red, jelly red, or sometimes I, I only have two of these pearly reds, but. I think they call it the it's the silicone collection red. You can only get it in the mermaid band pack. Okay, enough babbling. So you're gonna take your first, you're gonna wanna set up your loom like this with the big base out, the middle pin bar out. And if you're a lefty, you're gonna have this, the arrows on this row pointing down. And this row pointing up, but I'm right-handed, so I'm having this one pointing down. So, I actually... Okay. So, you're going to take your first band and make an X between these two peg pegs, I guess. So, now you're going to take your next band. Again, I'm using red. Okay, I don't know. And I'm gonna twist it across these two pegs. I think this one might be like a pearly, like the silicone red, just really bad. And again, twist it between these two pegs. Well, these two pegs. So you basically make an X out of X's, just like I mentioned in my tutorial for the turkey. You're gonna do that until you have three X's, once again. Again, twisting it like this. Taking another band. Twisting it as well. So now you have two X's made out of X's. And do the exact same thing for another one. Um, do the exact same thing for another one. So you should have three X's on your loom. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a single band. You're going to place it on this peg and stretch it to this peg. Now, since you stopped on this peg, you're going to go up once onto this peg. And you stopped on this peg, so now you're going to start on that peg, go up to the next one, and continue doing that until you get all the way around. And yeah, so I'm going to again take a single and put it on this, put it on this peg and go sideways. And again, just keep going down. So it's a little bit harder for me to demonstrate on camera because um, I can't really tilt my loom like this so it's easier. Actually, I probably can. Well, I'm just going to do it like this. So just for the demonstration. Sorry, this is the left-handed setup. If you want to do the right-handed setup, then just reverse. Um, uh, forgot to include that. So now you're going to hook the bottom one band on this peg over without going pushing back these two. And again, hook it on this peg as well. The left-handed thing is easier for me to demonstrate, but yeah. Um, hook over the bottom one band on this peg. Silicone bands seem to pull a lot more. And the bottom one on this peg as well. So it should look like this. 
Now take the bottom two loops on this peg, bottom two bands, not one. Um, not pushing these back, just grab it from the outside, hook it over, grab it from the outside, hook it over, both from the outside, I guess. This is easier for me to show you. And you're done with that row. So, you're going to take your next color, which again is red for me. And place it across these two pegs. It doesn't really matter what you which one you start on. So now you're going to take your next color, go between these two pegs right here. And just keep going until you get back to the other end of your loom. Don't know what color this is. Oh, it must be your loom's original red that you can only get with the rainbow loom. I was kind of in a rush prepping for this tutorial, or these tutorials, I guess, so. Sorry if my hands get in the way. So your loom should look like this. And that was row number zero that we just did. This is now hook over the bottom two bands from the outside on this peg. Bottom two bands from the outside on this peg. Bottom two bands from the outside on this peg. Bottom two bands from the outside on this peg. Do the same on the other side. So you should have two bands left on each peg. Now you're going to take a band. Well, that was row number one and we're just gonna do two more rows like this. So again, place in the perimeter. Yeah. And now, again, hook over the bottom two from the outside on each peg. Kind of like hooking the top row first. For those of you who like to hook the bottom row first, then obviously um, set your loom opposite from me. Two, and now we're just going to do one more row until we close this off but before we close it off we need to stuff it obviously so again blind perimeter just like so Okay, just um, hang on for a sec. Just had to get another two red bands. So, do that, place the perimeter, and then just tuck over the bottom two bands from the outside. I have both bands on each peg. Sorry that I should be going off camera, I don't know why. Yeah. 
So that was row number three. Yeah, that was row number three. Um, I just did. So now you're going to either stuff it on here if you don't have a ring loom, and you're just going to remove one side, collecting the bands on each peg, and then taking them off. All the bands I use are Rainbow and Brand. So that's what your creation should look like off the, the loom. Pretty sweet, I think. So now you're going to be stuffing this and I'm just getting some bands, random bands. So, um, just take a few bands at a time and stuff them inside. Whoops, they're coming out the bottom. Okay. There we go. The bands keep coming out of the bottom. And please do not say that I started it lousily. Okay. This might take a little while. There we go. So now I'm going to take a band and put it on one of my hooks. Since I'm using two hooks, you can usually do it on just one. And this one is a little bit harder, so you can just let go of the other hook and pull this single or double band through these eight loops. Like that, and it's okay if this one pops off because we're going to transfer this side to this hook and pull it through these eight loops once again. And my filling bands are coming out. There we go. Um, and just make a slip knot. Uh, probably already know how to do this if you made other charms. Just pull it tight. And now you're going to stick your hook through the inside of this charm. Take the little slip knot thing and pull it through so that's on the inside. Oops. I need to go off the camera to fix this. Um, yeah. And there is your cranberry sauce charm. To go along with this turkey charm that we made in the last video. If you have seen that video, honestly, if you're just making cranberry sauce, then yeah. Sorry for any background noise. So. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next part 
and make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Happy Thanksgiving once again, and bye!